As people in Lahaina begin to process the tragedy they've experienced, many are grateful they were able to escape the flames. That includes a couple from Virginia Beach who got out with seconds to spare, but lost it all as well. Dead on your sides, Michelle Wolf joins us tonight with a story you'll see only on 10. And Michelle, this devastation that the family saw is unimaginable. It is Lena, Alexa Wright and Peter Cummings grew up in the resort city and spent the last several years living in Hawaii. They evacuated their neighborhood this week, thinking they'd only be gone a couple hours. When they went back to their home, nothing was left. One minute I was um, putting Banyan down for a nap. Um, and then um, the next minute I was looking out the window because it smelled like smoke. Alexa Wright started packing a bag to head to a neighbor's house, thinking she'd return home in a few hours. She couldn't find her keys and hopped into her neighbor's golf cart with her 10 month old son Banyan. Minutes later, the smoke got really bad. The whole sky was black around us. They jumped back into the golf cart so they could get to a safe place. At the same time, Wright's boyfriend, Peter Cummings, was rushing home from the resort he worked at down the road to make sure Wright and their son got out in time. It was a wall of black darkness. I can't describe it. Wall to wall traffic, about ready to run. And out of the other side of the highway, I see a green golf cart and they're dressed like Armageddon. My friend's driving. Lexi's in the back, all scarfed up and, and, and goggles on Banyan. Wright reunited with Cummings and stopped at the nearest hotel. No diapers, no formula. Um, everybody had what they had, and that was about it. Yeah. We could see the blaze at night. The whole sky was glowing. A couple days later, Wright made her way back to her neighborhood. I thought maybe, oh, we could, you know, salvage a few things. Nothing. Um, two ashes. For now, Wright, Cummings, and the rest of the Maui community are taking it one day at a time. Wright's family in Virginia Beach has started a GoFundMe to help the couple and their son rebuild. The support that Virginia Beach, um, my family, friends, everyone there, um, my company at Atlantic Diving Supply, my coworkers, um, my dad's community, the Tidewater Drillers, everyone has been super generous. And we just want to, you know, thank everyone for their support. It means more than you know. The true heroes are the locals. It's um, it's just why it's part of why we live here. It's for that aloha spirit, and uh, uh, to see it in Virginia all the way to here, connecting, it's pretty nice. Out of all the devastation, Wright tells me she was most worried about Lahaina's historic banyan tree, which she named her son after. Miraculously, the tree, although burnt, is still standing. In the Wavy Newsroom, Michelle Bolton on your side.